In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called partition palindrome. So given a string s, partition s such that every substring of the partition is a palindrome. So return all uh, possible palindrome partitioning of s. So a palindrome string is a string that reads the same backward as forward. So um, here you can see we have an example of a, a, b, right? We can have partitioning a, a, b like this, and each and every single string are all palindrome, or we can have a, a, b, right? This is palindrome, and this is also a palindrome as well. So both of them are all palindrome. So another example is that if we can have a single character, in this case, we have a single uh, element in the string, we can just, the partition, um, the result list is going to be a just a single partition, right? So another example will be, let's say, EF, EFE, right? So in this case, we have, um, this is a palindrome. So in this case, at the end, we can have EF, E, like this is, this is also a palindrome. Or we can have EF, E, right? So that's also a palindrome, right? So in this case, we have two results, right? So how can we solve this problem? So one way we can do this is we can use brute force and then try for each and every single um, combinations that we can find to see for each and every single combination or each every single um, partition substring, we check to see if it's a palindrome. If it is, then we're just going to add it to the result list, right? So this is not the most optimal solution. So to solve this problem, basically we're just going to implement backtracking and then for each and every single, for the current string that we're given, we basically have a uh, couple decisions that we can make, right? Let's say we have A, A, B, right? In this case, we're gonna have a list, empty list, that we're gonna um, ha have to store all the uh, par par palindrome partition, right? In this case, and then for the current list is empty, right? We didn't have any elements in there yet. We didn't have made any partition yet, I should say. So we're gonna have a couple of decisions, right? We can either partition after A, or between AA, or between AB, or between, or I should say, after B, right? In this case, the entire string, we can partition here, right? So in this case, the first partition, we can have three decisions. So in this case, let's draw it out. If we were to partition here, right? In this case, if we were to partition here, we're just gonna add this element onto our list because we know this is element is a palindrome, right? Only if this element is valid, right? So in this case, what we can say is this, we can say if A is valid, we're just going to add this onto our list. Now we're left with A and B. Okay, so now what we can do is we can also have another, another half where we can partition F between A and B. So in this case, we know that AA is a palindrome, so we can add AA to our list. And then we're going to have B, we're left with B. Okay, and then the other path we can take is we can partition after AAB, but we know that AAB is not a valid palindrome, so we're not going to go down this path. So then what we can do is we can see there are two ways to partition this leftover string, right? In this case, we can partition after A, uh, between A and B, or we can partition after B. So both ways works. So in this case, sorry, not both ways works. Um, AB, in this case, is not a palindrome, so we're not going to go down this path. We're going to go focus on going down this path. In this case, we're just going to add A onto it. Now we're left with B, right? And we know that B is also a palindrome, right? B, then we can just add B onto our list as well. So A, A, of, um, in this case, A and B, right? Onto our list, then we just add this onto our, uh, our result list, right? In this case, we're gonna have a result list that we're gonna return at the end. And then here for this path, same thing, we know that this B is a palindrome, right? We can partition right here after B, so if we were to partition here, in this case, we can we know B is a palindrome, so we can add B onto our result list. Then we're on the uh, we're partition. We're pretty much the current index is the the we traverse the entire string. Then we can just add the current um, list onto the result list, right? So in this case, we have two um, examples, right? In this case, so let's take a look at another one, where let's say we have EFE, right? In this case. What we can do is we can have partition between E and F, right? We can we know that E is a palindrome, so we can add E is us to the list, and then we have left with F and E. And then in this case, we can have um, partition between F and E, 
working partition between after e. e after e in this case f e is not a valid palindrome so we're not gonna go down this path but if, but in this case f is a palindrome so we can just add f onto the array right onto the list now we're left with e right so now we know that e is also a palindrome so we can also add this onto our uh, onto our list right see that we can just add it onto our result list right and then we can focus on going down a different path in this case we can partition right in this case we can also partition after uh, between f and e right so in this case but f e f is not a palindrome so we're not going to go down this path now in this case we can also partition after e so we can have e f e add onto our list right so in this case we know that we're on the end we, we, there's no more strings left over right so in this case we partition last element already then we can just um, add this current list onto our result list right so this is pretty, pretty much how we solve this problem and let's take a look at how we can do this in code so to do this in code i have a method called is palindrome which takes a string and then check to see if it's a palindrome using two pointers and then here you can see we have the partition method takes a string and then we're just returning um, in this case a list of list string in this case right list of um, list of palindrome partition strings so in this case what we're going to do is we're just going to have a um, string right right so in this case a, the current sdr we're going to make it a global variable we can say sdr is equal to s and then we're just going to initialize our um, or call this defer search method so in this case we're just going to pass in a current empty list right in this case we haven't partition anything so we have an empty list and we're starting at zero um, and then at the end we're just going to return the result list right so for each every single time we found an element that um, that is a palindrome we're just going to add it onto our current list and then once we once we add, reach to the end of the string we can just return the current list that we built onto our result list so that's kind of like our base case we're going to say if start like the um, the index that we're starting to partition is equal to um, sdr dot length in this case then what we can do is we can just add the res we can just add the list onto our result list okay but the thing is that we have to create a new instance of it Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to start iterating, starting from index plus one. And the reason why we do index plus one is because we're going to get our substring that starts at start to i, right? In this case, start plus one, right? So in this case, start to the current index, which is going to be our current partition. And i is going to continue to iterate to get all the um, different partition. i is basically give us where to partition this the start is basically where we start the partition right so i while well, i is less than sdr dot length and what we're going to do is we're going to get a partition string so substring is equal to sdr dot substring uh, dot substring starting from start to i and we check to see if the current substring is palindrome. If it's not, we don't have to add the current element, uh, current substring onto our list. So it's palindrome. So we're gonna see if the substring is a palindrome. If it is, we're just going to add the current substring onto our onto our current list. So let's add substring. And then we're just gonna perform our depth search, pass in our list and our current uh, index, right? and at the end once we do continue to do the backtrack we want to make sure that we remove dot remove the last element that we added it right so in this case it's going to be list dot size minus one and one thing that i um forgot to do is i have to make this equal because the reason why we do um in this case like i said remember remember i said that i is basically where we want to end the partition 
So in this case, it's gonna um, what we want I reach to the end of this uh, like the last um, like the the index that is that is one bigger than the um, the last element so that we can partition the last element, right? Um, in this case, we're just gonna say reach to the string dot length. So i is gonna equal to the string string dot length, right? So now we're just gonna uh, run the code. Um, in this case, we have a illegal illegal start of expression. So 13. Okay, so let's try to run the code again. And let's try with a different example. Okay, so let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this um, palindrome partition problem. And the time complexity in this case is going to be exponential. And um, but we also have this um, is palindrome method, which is linear. So it's going to be n times um, exponential, right? Two to the power of n. So there you have it. And thank you for watching.